welcome to my YouTube channel. We are here for... What episode are we on now? Just finished editing episode 5, so that would make episode 6. Okay. Thank you for bearing with my audio issues. Like, I wouldn't have done it, so if you did, I'm quite grateful. I've been using the same... The same snowball <laughs> since my podcast, which was in uni, which was feels like a million years ago. I'll link my podcast in case you enjoy hearing my voice. It was written by me, some of my closest friends are in it, and it's quite funny, it's dark, but it's funny. So we're going to watch Tomorrow's Courage today. <laughs> Tomorrow's Courage, but it's today. One more thing before we start, it's actually kind of funny. When I, like I've been watching it subbed and most of the times I do prefer subs. There are some dubs that are very, very good, but in general, I think most people would prefer a, a sub if they're truly into anime and if they can, if they're comfortable reading subtitles, obviously. Sometimes, when I'm just doing like housework and stuff, I'll put on animes I've already seen, but I'll put them on dubbed. When I heard what Jojo sounds like in English, it made me really, 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 really freak out. The voice actor, I'm gonna look up the name of the voice actor, was doing an intensely fake British accent. It just made me laugh really hard and I don't really laugh when I'm alone. I only laugh just to blend in with society. If I had started this with the dub, this is why dubs and subs, like I don't even know if you can really compare the two. They're very different, like dubs, in my opinion, like, at least in my, in animes that I like the dubs of, um, it has, it adds a bit of humor. They even change some lines. What was getting me when I was watching the sub was I didn't hear any accents or any dialects that were different from any other anime I've watched. I recognize the voice actors from different animes that I love. And I will continue watching the sub, not the dub. But had I watched the dub, I would have been on the gentleman train. Only because you can just kind of get that vibe from him. Maybe it's because that's my native language, but I'm not sure. I found it quite fascinating that as soon as like I put on the dub, he actually valued being a gentleman by the tone of his voice. Whereas in the sub, I just maybe because I don't know, I just didn't see it. I couldn't actually get through an episode because I was just too, too flabbergasted by the, con the contrast. Had I watched the dub first, I might have thought that Jojo was a gentleman, but since I watched the sub, no, he's not. Not yet. So let's get through this. Subtitles. <laughs> We're gonna fight some more. I wouldn't lose my pride if I was Dio's puppet. Your hand isn't gonna work, just like Persona. <laughs> Dio, Dio, I'm way too into the show and I kind of hate it but love it at the same time. <laughs> I'm so glad Baron's alive. <laughs> I just love how Baron is still alive and well and he's still worried about Jojo and he's like no that hair is too nice it's too nice to cut through your light will not cut through that hair because it is like it's gonna it's dark it's darkness ah uh, I forgot to mention something you guys while I had to endure the awful dub I did pick up on where the mask came from Jojo's mother left it. Don't know why he put his blood on it, but I guess Dio just stole it from him. I thought I was over it, but I guess I'm not. Yay! That's so classy. That sounds delightful. Don't cut the hair. Can he do anything that isn't an overdrive? 
I can't hear the sound of the pound flowing because there's so much drama going on. <laughs> what is he doing? Die. Maybe. What in place? Are we gonna talk about how Jojo just fried this dude's hair? It's like a plasma ball. Like when you go like to the science center or a sciencey place. When you touch the ball and then your hair goes all wacky. It's literally what Jojo did and then he's like, Oh, I made this up. I got this superpower. It's called plasma electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Human pain. That seems way too simple. <laughs> okay, okay, tone it down, Speedwagon. You were already a human before you became a zombie. Really? Dear friend of different period. <laughs> Luck. He's gonna need it. Oh, plus. Is it just me or was that like way too easy? Like, before the show was too complicated, and now it's just too easy. So far, nothing interesting has happened, and I have a feeling it's because Baron is, like, knocked down, and Dio, I forget if he left or if he just is still watching from above. It's also kind of hard to take him seriously, because I know the dubbed version of him is some posh little... Jojo, you are really not the face I want to be looking at right now. I like the Dark Knight, even though he kind of had to die because he's a zombie, unless, you know, Dio got his way, but it's not his adventure, so he's probably not gonna get his way. <laughs> I just love how one of the zombie knights is like, yeah, I was just really in a bad place at a bad time and I was really impulsive and then Jojo's like, yeah, I could tell. He's like a- f Jojo, he is not a gentleman, but he kind of seems like he just wants to help everybody. Kind of seems like he's milking it, like, oh, I'm a hero. Thanks, Baron, by the way, who's on the ground. What was the other knight doing while he was fighting the first one? Were they just watching? <laughs> nice sword. <laughs> Love it when Baron speaks English. His English voice actor wasn't terrible, but like, it's obviously not really comparable. But there's also the bias of which one I watched first. And I'm glad he's up and running. Glad he sounds cute when he speaks English. Jojo milking up this hero stuff. Which is kind of the point of the anime, I guess. <laughs> but it's kind of pissing me off a little bit. And I forgot that boy was there. Like, a couple of shots that they did use didn't include the boy or... Or maybe it did. We'll see when I watch it again, but... For some reason, I'm just feeling like a lack of continuity in this episode. This episode... Like, I'm almost halfway done this episode, and it seems like it's kind of just a filler, which is disappointing. I'm still into it, because I'm into the storyline now. How many filler episodes are there? Like, is it one of those animes that is, like, good at the end and the beginning, but in the middle it's just fuzzy? <laughs> doesn't need Jojo beside him to look cool doing that. Jojo doing that on his own, I guess, just wouldn't have looked as great. So they 
added Baron. Deep breath. We haven't seen Dio, we're talking about him. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Like, had it been from an adult character, it would have been kind of fun, but like, just having like this innocent little boy just. I, I, I did not enjoy that, like, I don't want to look at little boys' butts. Who does? This is getting on my nerves a little. Dio better show up soon. Where is Dio? He needs to fix the sugar from this humble, milking moment from last episode. Like, we haven't moved on. Jojo was called a trickster. That could be a persona clue. <laughs> He's got a past, I can tell. Here it comes, here it comes. The evil stone mask? Is that the same mask that Dio is having? And why would they call it evil if it was belonged to Jojo's mother? <sighs> this mask is just too much. The doctor's master. Interesting. Okay. 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 Everybody's fated for death. He's got a secret and he's trying to keep it. But Jojo's going to change that. <laughs> Finally, something relevant has happened other than the Dark Knight dying. This episode is really like clouding my judgment. I don't know. I'm getting weird vibes from this episode. Baron is giving me good vibes, but he's also giving me mysterious vibes. Like if he has a secret that he can't even tell Jojo or to anybody making me wonder whose side is he really on This other night is actually quite funny. It's like, are we gonna do this or not? Like, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna just let you run away from me. Like, we're not finished here. I respect that. I completely respect it. And just that post, the way he's climbing up like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> What are they gonna do without Jojo? <laughs> I don't know, the way that their hands are pressed to the door looks like they're kinda encouraging him to just like, you know. I tried so many times, but like he came way too close to spilling that wine. So we're just gonna lock him in here. If only that was the last we saw of Jojo. Got about 10 minutes left. Something cool better happen other than Jojo being locked away. Jojo's just all alone in this really vintage <laughs> torture chamber <Darkus! laughs> <laughs> I like him <laughs> <laughs> I kind of ship this too. I love how he's got a collar. You're gonna choke on the darkness while focusing on the light. I don't know. Ew! 
<laughs> I don't like this kid. <laughs> I love how intense Baron is on getting in. <laughs> They're so passionate and so funny. <laughs> Tomorrow. I don't like Poco. <laughs> I like her. I wish she was like, more involved in the story. Oh, oh she's smart. <laughs> she's just taking a nap. So we land. <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> I love Baron and Speed Legends. Just like they're just in the window watching everything. Like it's perfect. Kid just did more than Jojo have done this entire anime so far. <laughs> Is Baron gonna kill himself for Jojo? No. <laughs> I won't let that happen. He can't he can't do that. I can't lose him. I've already gone most of this episode without Dio at all. <laughs> Ooh. To be continued, I really like where that ended up. Now I'm like extremely excited for episode 7 because Baron is going to fight possibly to the death. Tomorrow is today. Today is my fate. I don't know. Final thoughts. Dio, for the first time, didn't show up at all. Jojo was just fighting, you know. The kid, he did open the door for Baron and Speedwagon. So he's got potential. If Baron is gone, then I'm going to be very sad, but... I have a feeling he's going to survive, at least I really hope he does, and if he doesn't, well then Dio better get coming. Mixed feelings about little boy Poco, still love Baron very, very much, and if he dies, a part of me is going to die with him, just kidding, but kind of feels that way at this point. I still don't think Jojo is a gentleman, I don't like him at all. Has he even thought about airing us since he left? Other than that one time, just like when he was in the carriage and he's like, oh, I forgot to say goodbye. No, probably not. He's only thought about Dio. So thanks for bearing with me if you found it treacherous like I did. Like rewatching myself made me want to gouge my eyes out, but people seem to enjoy my reaction. So I'm not going to stop. I'm just gonna try to improve my audio. I'm way too invested in this series to stop doing this, so subscribe and like, comment, notification bell, the basic YouTube crap.